Welcome back to Silver Knight Comics. I'm going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite series here, Fables, Legends in Exile. This is Volume 1. I have every single volume because I really like it. I thought it was an awesome series. And uh, there will be, I guess, some spoilers, but I more sort of want to just, you know, give you details about, like, you know, the story and the characters and, and going into the first, se uh, the first series of comics here. And uh, it's about... You know, fables. All the fables. Snow White, uh, the Big Bad Wolf, you got Boy Blue, you got Prince Charming, Beauty and the Beast. But they're all been uh, sort of exiled or whatever, sort of from, they fled the adversary to our realm, you know, Earth. And they have all these different realms and different, you know, places that they cross over. But they're, they're here and they have this giant building that has all these spells about it so people can't... The, the Mundies, which are the us, or the humans, we can't figure out, you know, what's going on in that building. It's mysterious. Certain characters, you know, if they don't have glamours to cover themselves up as humans if out in public, like, like Beast here, if he doesn't have a glamour, he can't go out like that. But uh, other people, they do have glamours and it covers them up so they can go out in public as a human. But uh, in his case, he can't because his ancient curse is is getting to him you can see you know I like the way they, they wrote in the dialogue for him he can't speak because of his teeth and stuff like that uh, you can see that there's a lot of writing and dialogue here which I, I totally think is fine because I think it's essential to you know the characters and the story building especially in these first few issues um, so uh, yeah they have these glamours and all these spells the spells that sort of mask the, 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 the building but you can see what's inside like that's what's inside the building. They have these giant, all their stuff from Fable Land, you know, inside their the home office here, uh, where Snow White is, and she's sort of like uh, the not the not the president or whatever of or the prime minister of Fable Lands, but the director of operations she is in uh, in Fable Lands. Then you have. Big B Wolf, which is the big bad wolf, essentially. I'll try to show you some art of, of that. Yeah, if I can get to. But, yeah, here we go. Here's some cool stuff where you get to first see him. You can see that he's, you know, transformed. He's not the, he's just Big B Wolf right now. But there he is, as a wolf, you know. A wolf in sheep's clothing, sort of. But this one is sort of an introduction to all the characters and stuff and it's sort of a murder mystery ooh and so we got some violence in this one and uh, delivers on a lot of the characters so much so you get to really figure out who's who and what they're up to uh, there's some really it goes in the backstory about uh, the adversary and why they fled and and uh, yeah why they fled but let me see if I can figure, find a spot where that is. You, you get into it in chapter 4, Remembrance Day, is when they remember when they used to be back at home in Fable Land, and not everything was what it is now for them. And you get a little bit of backstory here with, uh, oh, there's Geppetto carving, you know, Pinocchio. He's, he, he's here too, you got everybody. Here's a great scene for you guys to check out though. Back at the Fable Land when the adversary came in to take over and stuff. So it's really interesting. There's a lot of stuff to, to pick up. There's a lot of different characters to get into and enjoy. Uh, it sh shows about like how people escaped and who escaped and who got left behind and a lot of this stuff. But it's really interesting. It starts off great. And I like how it starts off with a murder mystery sort of letting you uh, get to know the characters a little bit and the backstory and everything like that before moving into the whole story, uh, the main main plot and everything like that. So it's a it's a great comic, a great read. I highly recommend it for sure. It's, it's fantastic. Um, and then also, uh, if you want me to talk about uh, Volume 2, show Volume 2, Volume 3, whatever, I'll keep going and talk about those but I will try not to spoil too much just in case you want to read it uh, yeah and 
you can let me know down in the comments if you'd like also i keep forgetting to say feel free to subscribe to my other channels i'll put those in the links below as well i got a metal channel and talk about some wrestling as well as in another channel but anyways about some heavy reading